on the pizza. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Yard. Today we are going to be decorating some charcuterie boards. As you can see, we've got a round one and a square one. So let's get started and I will start pressing mine. All right, we've grabbed all of our supplies here. I'm going to walk you through everything we need for today's project. So first off, we have our craft paper. This is to protect our heat press from any ink that might get on it or be left over from our transfers. So we're going to put one on top and bottom of our project. We have our heat tape to keep it safe in place. Some people are ballsy enough to not use tape. I'm a tape gal to make mm -hmm. stuff stay in place. Safety glove, left or right handed, which is nice for me because I'm left handed, can go either way. Scissors and blade, in case we need to cut or trim anything. Mm -hmm. And then we have our designs and our cutting boards. Cool. Right. What do you got? So, my design here is charcuterie board. So where did charcuterie boards come from? Uh, Lunchables. So I made this charcuterie board look like a Lunchable and I've got my placements of where it is because I don't do charcuterie boards very often. And so I need to know where to put my stuff. So that's why I labeled it. And one thing I noticed, and I don't know if you guys too, mm -hmm. you can read it. Why, why can I read that? Why isn't it backwards? That is something that you need to do and be aware of when you're working with the cutting boards because they are different. You'll see that they have white on the back and you want the design to show through the cutting board so you're not cutting on the design. So you need to have it right reading while you press it. So oh, that is okay. something extremely unique for these cutting boards mm -hmm. to remember as well. Awesome. So I follow the same suit of where I kept obviously a little bit of a food theme. I'm gonna use mine more of like a platter than just like a food tray. And so I did a little lemon. It says turning lemonade into lemon since 1981. <laughs> if anybody's a new girl fan out there, this is a good classic Nick Miller quote. So yeah, turning lemonade into lemon since 1981. So got that and my cutting board's round. So that's why it was kind of fun. I kind of like the idea of playing on like a citrus shape. Mm -hmm. So then we could put, you know, a pitcher of lemonade and glasses on here or something like that. So, so cute. All right. Well, let's get into this. All right, so as you can see, I did put, there's a lot, a lot of printed space, probably more than what I probably should have, uh, but I'm an advocate for having more bleed than no bleed. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line this up. You can kind of see the design through. You just have to be really, really careful of like where I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna trim here. I think I'm gonna do the good old, Brooke actually taught me this trick of just folding oh, it mm -hmm. so then you don't have to like draw on it or anything but just like fold it so then this will give me an idea of where to kind of cut and where I'm going to place it so okay. this is actually I really like this technique. That is a really good idea. <laughs> I know fold 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 man. I know I've, I've done like folding before but I didn't think to like even like say it or tell people hey this is a good way to get a base idea without yeah, uh -huh. drawing and worrying about making a mark on your design. Yeah exactly. Okay. So then I've got just a little light and I'm oh, just going to trim it just a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit of excess because again have bleed then no bleed because mm -hmm. <laughs> there's so many times where I've pressed something sublimated and then it's just this little sliver of white <laughs> and it makes me sad. <laughs> And then, there we go. Steal this. Or you can make it like Maggie did, where she's got like a nice little round bleed. Oh, no, I, see I almost, I did that. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use green. I don't know why. I don't think there's really a difference except you can see it. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna tape here. I'm gonna tape on two sides, I think. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about too much movement if I do that. <gasps> Before, I, you know what I forgot? To check the pressure. Oh, that's important too. Oh, that's oh, how so, thick these guys are. Yes, so I'm gonna actually press it with the craft paper because yep. that is what I'm going to matter. be mm -hmm. pressing and it's going to matter. And I'm going to do it this way because this is how you, I'm going to press it. I always like to do test press of how you're going to press it originally. 
And if you've watched a yard before, I feel like we are a broken record of testing your pressure, but it does really matter. It, especially with sublimation things. So much. Hey, you. Yeah, it's me, Wally V. Do you guys want to make your own charcuterie boards? Go ahead and check out our description on this video to find a link to all the products we use. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. No, oh, it's not me. It's scary, I don't like it. I, <laughs> we love it. We love sublimation. No, <laughs> I meant I'm not good at it. Sublimation is a little intimidating. I will say that, but don't be intimidated. No yeah, fear we can, have here. You can Woo. do it. Pizza's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so what was your favorite kind of lunch bowl as a kid? My favorite. Or an adult, <sighs> no judgment. You know, I really do love pizza. <laughs> I love, pizza I love pizza lunchables too. But did you heat them up or did you eat them? No, up? I always ate yes. them cold. <laughs> that was the point. Like I remember I was talking to somebody and they're like, why don't you heat it up? I'm like, uh, did I heat it up when I was at school? No, no. I ate it cold. I yes. just ate it cold all the time. Yeah. But I mean, I love a good like meat crackers yeah. and cheese. Mm -hmm. Like I can, I've just bought one of those packets yeah. for myself. Oh gosh, yeah. Like when people come over, I'm like, yeah, I've got it. And Pat's like, mm -hmm. my husband. He's like, I know you bought that for yourself. <laughs> you just hey, use At least you know together. what you're gonna like at the party that yeah. you bring your own snack, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, but okay. reveal time. So we've got, I'm gonna try here. It's a little, actually, here we go. Yeah, I might be able to do that. There we go. Ooh. It's a little anticlimactic this way yep. because it's the back. It's the back and you're so like, oh you my gosh, it's mirrored. <laughs> but All right. it's okay. So then you wanna, should we pull the whole, yeah, I'm sheet gonna pull off. the whole sheet off here. Way. I'll get out of the way. Hot pizza coming through. This is also really nice to have craft paper for this True, the lifting. sort of thing. So we're gonna switch spots. <laughs> okay. Oh, how to use this one and cook a pizza on that. Okay. I'm a little torn. I think I might do what you did, Sasha. I was maybe gonna tape my paper to the paper, but I think I might do what you did and tape this way versus taping mm -hmm. once I flip it, because it's a circle and there's no hard edges in a mm -hmm. circle. Well, and it's kind of nice too, because the way that I taped it, I was able to, the tape does lose a little bit of that, because one yeah. thing that's really nice about thermal tape, it's not like super, super sticky. No, it's not gonna ruin anything. And, the, and this craft paper has got like a little bit of a coating on it too, so. La, 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 la. Pizza number two! Yeah. I should have done a pizza. <laughs> that would have been a good idea too. <laughs> I don't know, has anyone done any charcuterie boards with pizza? Yeah, well, I mean, cause I like that this is circle. You don't yeah. see that many like circular yeah. ones so that you really could play with a bunch of shapes, but yeah, oh, you pizza totally is could. a good idea. Oh yeah, that's something that, that's oh. really, really nice. <laughs> They're it's, the same thickness. Yeah, the same thickness, so you don't have to worry about pressure. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Should have heard the conversations we were having. <laughs> Three, two, one. And here comes the stream. Ooh. I'm so nervous. So do you enjoy lemonade, like regular lemonade or the flavored lemonade? Oh, that's a good question. I think I honestly prefer regular lemonade more than anything. Mm -hmm. I love a good Arnie Palmer though. Lemonade Ooh. and tea, that's delicious. Yes. But, all right, we're gonna let these cool for a little bit and then we will be back to show you guys the grand review. All right, now that these are nice and warm to the touch, they're nice and cool, time for the reveal. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> G's reaction was really great behind the camera, so I think we did good. I haven't looked at this yet, I haven't so. looked at, we haven't looked at them either. Oh, come to you? Come to you, okay. okay. Coming. <laughs> okay, to ears. I, didn't, I know, I haven't looked at okay. Should we just turn each other and show each other? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, no, I meant like we just show oh, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, One two, two, three. Oh, that looks good. So okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I first was reading yours, I thought it had too many E's and cheese, but it's right. <laughs> I was scared about mine. Okay. I know. I don't think I'm gonna smell Oh, 
Oh, oh cute. <laughs> I like that. I like those too. I was honestly a little concerned about the yellow. Of yeah. it like being vibrant enough and yeah. it actually looks really good. Oh my gosh, this is like, that's what we were looking at. So yes. this yeah. is, it's a little like scary. Yes, it's it is a, a bit scary. scary. It seems so faded, but then you flip it around. But then you flip it around and bam, yes. wham. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So, Maggie, I think these are missing something. I agree. <gasps> Look at that. <sighs> Got all our hard work. I know, all of our hard work. And uh, we've got our meat and cheese tray here. Our lemonade ready to go. Ooh, and time to cheers yes. it. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, making our different cutting boards. As you can see, we used them for so many different purposes with our sublimation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.